<laughs> when you say feminism, is it our African culture? What African culture do you speak of? Is it the African culture of our sisters or the African culture of our colonizers? The one that upholds men as supreme, masters, and controllers of property? Or the one that loves women as a monologue, erasing and excluding our diverse experiences? A system that does not give room for negotiations. If feminism is about equality between men and women, then let me tell you about my African culture. I am from Karamoja, a traditional community of pastoralists in Uganda. A group of people renowned for their deep commitments to their roots. We are a community that dresses vibrantly in a dry and harsh environment. We are the desert flowers. My culture is not sexualizing and stressful. It does not attach labels and expectations on women's bodies in the name of decency. My attire is a communication of my identity and not an invitation for rape. That's right. My community <laughs> is a place where men and women coexist, showering together by the riverside naked. Because nakedness is not correlated with sexual perversity. The Karamojo women I know are strong and resilient. They build houses and livelihoods, looking after cattle and walking miles in search for water and pasture with their husbands. My culture doesn't stop women from working, owning property, nor does it assume that men are the sole breadwinners. It recognizes the interdependence between sexes that enables our societies to thrive. The culture I know ensures that women own lands and have the right to pass it on to her lineage. For every marriage in a woman's kingship, she's entitled to cut off. A cow from her niece's marriage, one from her best friends, or another from her sister in law. My mother owns 50 cattle. Oh. She calls her own. Oh. None of which she bought, but was rather gifted through a system that recognizes the value of wealth sharing. My culture does not seek to be unjust, it allows for negotiations and peaceful coexistence. It allows for negotiation and peaceful coexistence. My late uncle, who I am named after, had nine wives and 54 children. Wow. <laughs> when he died, when he died, when he died, there were no endless convertors. Of property laws. Each woman's property was set and protected by an ancient system, one that recognizes their full humanity. Mm -hmm. My nine wives, as I daringly call them, coexist like sisters in a world that has taught them justice and cooperation. Of course, my culture has its weaknesses, as to all things, but the ideals that it embodies and nothing close to, the shameless, to those shameless departed in the name of African cultures. African cultures were not meant to be static. We must drop those practices like FGM that undermine the full humanity of women and embrace those that reflect a more progressive world, one that speaks true to our ancestry. Colonialism stifled our cultures, relegating them as backward and useless, not giving them room to flourish. But we can do two things. We have to evolve with the, with the historically adopted Western norms of gender equality. Most importantly, let's take back our egalitarian narratives and reflect on how our norms would have evolved had they not been stifled. Aye. Thank you. Aye. 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 Aye.